This is orchestrated, folks. The globalists are using migration as a tool to disrupt national stability and dilute the cultural and political power of sovereign nations. It's all about control. By flooding countries with mass migration, they destabilize local economies, strain social services, and ultimately weaken the political voice of the native population. This is classic divide and conquer on a global scale. We're seeing the fallout in real time. In the United States, the Biden administration is allowing wave after wave of migrants to enter the country illegally, and the mainstream media doesn't even bat an eye. Why? Because it's part of a much larger agenda, the same one outlined in the 2000 UN. How this affects us directly, when you bring in this level of migration, it puts immense strain on public resources, schools are overwhelmed, healthcare systems buckle, crime rates surge, and housing becomes scarce. Meanwhile, the globalists sit back and watch as the middle class is eroded, replaced with a population that's more dependent on government handouts and less likely to push back against authoritarian policies. But it's not just about economics or social strain. There's a deeper, more sinister agenda here. By displacing native populations, the globalists aim to erase national identities. They want a borderless world where people are easier to control, where cultural differences are flattened, and where we all fit into their technocratic vision. This isn't some wild conspiracy theory. It's happening, and the UN Replacement Migration Report laid out the playbook decades ago. And if you think this is limited to the US and Europe, think again. The elites are pushing the same agenda in countries across the globe. Africa, Asia, South America, they're all being set up as pawns in this global chess game. The migrant crisis is just one front in a much larger war for control over the game here. Look around you. This mass immigration is about engineering chaos. Governments and elites know that such drastic demographic shifts lead to tension, social fragmentation, and a loss of national cohesion. And in the chaos, they expand their power. This is when they implement surveillance systems, digital IDs, and global governance structures. It's all connected, folks. The crisis creates the need for solutions, and those solutions are always about controlling us more. The current migrant crisis isn't a humanitarian emergency. It's a calculated move. Governments like the US and nations across Europe are being flooded with migrants in a move that's been telegraphed by the UN. The Migration Report is the roadmap, and what we're witnessing now is the execution of that plan. This is why we see globalist organizations like the World Economic Forum pushing for open borders, digital tracking, and increased surveillance. They're paving the way for global control, where national sovereignty is eroded, and we are all just data points in a technocratic system. And this crisis isn't just a byproduct of economic or social policies, it's by design. The UN's Replacement Migration Report laid out the blueprint for how mass migration could be used to reshape populations and cement global control. Today, as borders crumble and migrants flood into nations by the millions, the true nature of this plan is becoming more obvious. The elites are creating the problem, and their solution is more control over every aspect of our lives.